just got this parcel. So this is only an unboxing. I'm going to show you what I've got. The full review will come later. Now I'm going to review this and compare it against the manufacturer's own version. So you'll see what I mean in a moment when I can get into this. Wow, this is well packed. Just make sure I don't cut myself to pieces. I'm doing it all the wrong way. You know what the rules say, cut away from yourself, all that kind of stuff. I'm excited to look at this. This is a super cheap deal. It is the Viltrox 40mm 2.5 for the Z mount. How cool is that? Right, let's have a look. So that's a really tiny box, as you can see. So that comes out nice and easily. Uh, oh, it is sealed, so security sealed. So nobody else has had that. That's good. Let's get into this. As Robin Wong would say in Malaysia, let's do this. Uh, he's such a cheerful guy, that guy. Honestly, I, I don't think I've seen anyone on YouTube, any photographer at least, as cheerful as he is. So now we're getting into this. I hate this tape. Why do they put so much nonsense? Oh, there's two. Okay, let's do it again. Warranty card, instructions. Don't think we need instructions with a lens, do we? Okay, so we get, I'm sure that's the normal case, yeah. Desiccant silica gel, a little bit of paper certificate. It's been quality checked. Cool. Give me the lens. Come on. Where's the lens? I want to be careful, I don't want to drop the thing. Okay, so the Viltrox lenses that they're doing at the moment are some super cheap deals. Affordable, shall we say. So here is the 40mm 2.5Z. Look, you see the size? Let's have a look. Really tiny front element. And I think it's a 52mm. Yep, 52mm. So I have the 20mm. That also has 52 mil thread. Um, so let me just put that cap back on. There's a lens hood with this. And the rear element, let's have a look. Beautiful and clean. But of more importance, I think, is the fact that you can see here, there's a USB-C port. So when they release firmware updates from time to time, and they're pretty good at that, as far as I'm concerned, I'll be able to update this very easily. So, very lightweight, not super, super lightweight. It actually feels not chunky, but you know, a decent quality build. No aperture ring, um, focusing ring. Don't know if I should do that without being on the camera. Very smooth, so I'm okay with that. I can't wait to try this. Now, I did say I'll be testing this against the original Nikon 40mm, so I'm going to do a shootout of the two and just compare them. This thing is less than half the cost of a used Nikon 40mm f2. So I think it's great value for money if it's anywhere near as good as the Nikon. So please do keep watching. Uh, if you have any questions before I make that review video, let me know in the comments. And if you want to make sure that you're going to see that video, see what this is like, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, and then you'll find out when the video goes live. And I'm going to hide this so my wife doesn't know I've bought something else, because she will kill me. So please don't tell her. See you on the full review video. Thanks for watching.